grab a glass. All right. Mm. Everyone, gla grab a glass. Grab a glass. Grab a glass. Here you go, boys. Here. Here you go. Oh, 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 nice hands. So pro. Nice pro. I love the toast. Steven, you got a glass? Where's Shalani? You got one. Trace, you got a glass? Everybody got a glass. Disky? All right. Today's drink. <laughs> Uh, Cody, did you want a toast or oh, no. no? You're good. I just love the toast. You love the toast. You love the toast. Yeah. The idea, Joey, toast. I'm straight. I'm straight. All right, Joey, straight. <laughs> All right. I just want to make sure I'd ask. Hey guys, uh, I don't know if everyone knew, but uh, today with this win, we clinched a postseason berth. So uh, congratulations to everyone in the room, and there's a lot of people who got us to this point that are not here with us. So. Make sure you shoot your boys a text, too, because uh, they were just as much a part of this. And uh, guys, just remember, we did this by playing together and for each other. That's how we got here. And uh, just know, our best baseball is ahead of us. So you guys stay focused. And congratulations, everybody. Well done. Woo! Cheers. Cheers. And they say, yeah! And they say, yeah! <laughs> Turn up the music! It's another blue sky day in San Diego and here at Petco Park. Final game of this three game set. Magic number is four to win the division. Two nothing Padres. Dodgers batting in the fifth. There's a drive to left field. Way back it goes. It is gone. A home run. Justin Turner, his 12th of the season. Bases full of Dodgers. Turner, Smith, and Muncie on the bags, and the batter is Justin Turner. Swings and hits a drive. Deep left field. Way back. It's a grand slam for Turner. Oh, how do you like that? And the Dodgers have opened it up in the seventh inning. And they've won their eighth straight series against the Padres. They shave two off the magic number. It is down to two. Are you kidding me? Let's go! With the Padres series behind them, the Dodgers look forward to the fun that will come on the flight to Phoenix when fictitious superheroes morph into something resembling reality on the team's annual dress up day. Cut, cut, Power Rangers! <laughs> I am Steve Williams, caddy, and as you will see, there is Tiger Woods will be coming out as well. Club, yeah, this isn't true to size though. Um, but yeah, a lot of championships together. A lot of championships. A lot of, a lot of <laughs> dream team. Yes. Aaron Donald. <laughs> Ream me. Ream me. It's actually pretty good. If I let this out a little. Oh, yeah, there we go. Part of the Sandlot crew? Yeah. Who else is in it? We got the strength coaches. So we got VMAC. We got Luxie as small. Jorts are a little tight. Jorts are a little tight. I don't remember Smalls having a beard. Who's that, Fasso? Are you guys ready? Backwards. Backwards. It's a photo. Will, they can't hear you barking. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's, this is, I this goes on my face. Is this a stick on you? Yeah, it's a post-it. <laughs> <laughs> ready? <laughs> 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 no file? Okay, okay. 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 Another sneaky good one was Trey's Wolf of Wall Street, and the photo he took uh, in front of the plane throwing the money up was uh, a classic. <laughs> I said, man, it just looks like a, a Saturday at NC State for you, uh, dressing up like this. You get a shake and bake? Uh, I don't know the shake and bake. 
But you can bleep out the if you, you don't shoot big red, then you. you. <laughs> Uh, Scott is me. That is my outfit I wear every single day. I think, I think his pants are a little too high, but um, he thinks he's nailing it, but it's very flattering that he wanted to be me today. Gosh darn it. This is wonderful. I think it's the best costume. When you grind all year together and you get close and you spend more time with these guys than you do with your own family and then to have some fun and dress up and have a good time, take some pictures and have a laugh, um, that, that makes it all worth it as well. Backstage Dodgers is brought to you by Cadillac. So the Dodgers right there. They've got the magic number down to one away from clinching a ninth division title in 10 years. Clayton Kershaw getting the ball tonight, a chance to clinch. His fourth start in a clinch scenario. The Dodgers are 3 0 in Kershaw's previous starts. Carson Kelly swings at the first pitch that he throws and a pop fly and foul ground. Freeman has room and one pitch, one out for Kershaw. From 0 2 to 3 and 2. And strike three. Got to bury a slider right here, right? That's exactly what he did to strike out Walker and finish off a scoreless first. There's a grounder off Kelly and Max Muncy will extend his hitting streak to eight games with that. Lead off base hit here in the second first base hit of the game for either team. Runner at first one away here's Joey Gallo. There's some of the power. High drive center field. Gone. Big man land out there in center. Two nothing. Freddie Freeman to open the third for the Dodgers, leading two nothing. High fly ball. A majestic drive. How far? Look out, pool. He hit it over the pool. Wow! Three nothing Dodgers on a pair of monstrous home runs. First Gallo, now Freeman. Fourth strikeout for Kershaw. Kershaw struck out Walker with a good slider the first time. And he gets him again, burying another slider. As far as number of pitches, he threw 86 over six innings against San Francisco last time. 56 here in the fourth, delivers another to Rivera, and it's pulled to short. Diving stop, Turner, a gun across to get him. Trey Turner with a highlight real play to finish off the fourth. Dodgers on the verge of clinching a division title, and they've got a fitting character leading the way. On the mound in Clayton Kershaw. They face Jake McCarthy here up in the bottom of the seventh. All set in the air, down the line. And Mookie from the middle of nowhere. He even impressed himself on that one. And Clayton Kershaw, with the Dodgers one win from a division title, has fired seven scoreless innings. Preparations being made in the Dodger clubhouse. Getting ready to party. All right, so this game goes to the bottom of the ninth inning. The Dodgers three outs away from clinching the division. Here's Craig Kimball to try and get those three. Stroke to center field, right at Bellinger. One gone in the ninth. Topped, picked up by Kimbrell, two gone. 
This will be the earliest they've ever done it since moving to L.A. in terms of number of games. Game 141, ready to celebrate a clinch. Line drive caught, and that's it. The Dodgers steamroll their way to another division title. Back on top in the West. A ninth division championship in 10 years. But it was the longest tenure Dodger, Mr. Reliable, going seven shutout innings and getting the win. That is Clayton Kershaw in his 15th season, a season that wasn't guaranteed. When he decided that he did want to keep pitching, he knew where he wanted it to be for reasons like this. He knew that they have something special going in L.A. It's a great ball, baby. Some people feel the burn. I regret. I don't feel the burn. Let's go, Freddie. Get a bottle. Hanser, get a bottle. Hanser, get two bottles. Hey, here we go. All right, guys. This is the first step. Hey. This is the first step. Hey, no early lunch. <laughs> hey, this is the first step. We got a lot of first timers here. So for some of us, this might be old hat. There's a lot of hard work in to win the division. The championship, the West is back in Los Angeles where it deserves to be, where it yeah. belongs to be. Yancey, Heaney, Tyler, all these guys, first timers. I think Tyler's a first timer. Congratulations, everybody. Everybody that's here, everybody that's not here. Hey, it's about you guys, the players. The guy that's been here the longest, Clayton Kershaw, he took the mound tonight. Kersh, say a little thing uh, up to our guys. Say hello, give us a little something. Hey, let's say what you're doing. This starts with him. It, I just want to say I love you guys and thank you for being so good because it's really fun to be on this team. So let's have a ball. Yeah, you're the man. The Dodgers are back in the Bay Area after securing their 10th straight playoff berth. And the fights for those limited roster spots in October are underway. The lone September call-up for the team, Miguel Vargas, is among those looking to make the list, prepping to perform the way he did when he debuted for the Dodgers in this ballpark in early August. We're all excited to see Vargi. He's a product of the system. The opportunity uh, to make his debut is here. We just don't see there's any downside in having him get his feet wet, get in a big league ballpark, and all that goes with it. Oh yeah, I'm so excited right now. I don't know where it's emotion for this moment. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the seat test. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah, there are you. Congratulations. Woo! Good to see you. How are you? How are you? Good, good. good to see you. Renowned for its depth throughout the organization, the Dodgers are loaded with prospects. To make it to the big club, a prospect has to force his way. And to do that, he has to have a minor league season like this. So that's drilled into the left center field area over Thompson. Can't get to it. 
This ball is in the bullpen. That's quite the way to extend the hitting streak to 10 games. The 22-year-old Cuban tore up every level in his way through the minors. A natural third baseman, he hit over 300 in Oklahoma City this summer while learning to play the outfield. And he was one of three Dodger minor leaguers selected to play in the Futures game in July. Hit pretty well to deep left field. This ball game is over! We're all excited. There's a lot of people that had uh, their hands and impact on Miguel. He's a very good young ball player. I know his family is here. He's very confident. He's very calm. Uh, he's a heck of a ball player. So I think it's one of those things that in the middle of a season, to have this youthful enthusiasm, it kind of injects that joy in all of us. No, I think we're more emotional than ever. We've talked a lot about respect. We just want to enjoy the moment. Estar feliz y disfrutar lo más que podamos. Primero puso que en la reserva y que, eh, que pensaba que estaba en la reserva, pero al momento llamó y dijo que no, que lo habían activado, que estaba en las grandes, todo el mundo gritando. En mi casa era todo el mundo llorando, corriendo. Una... La verdad que fue un momento súper emocionante y él estaba tan, tan feliz que. Para nosotros ese ha sido uno de los mejores momentos. Te puedo imaginar, es el momento más grande de nuestra vida. Nosotros estamos pasando ahora, nosotros hacemos una retrospectiva de, de, de todo el camino recorrido hasta aquí y ahora estamos aquí, él está logrando su sueño y, y, y esta es la felicidad más grande que pueda sentir un padre. And here comes Miguel Vargas for his major league debut. And at 22 years old, he reaches the major leagues in front of his family, his friends, including his father, Lazaro, who taught him the game after 22 years as a legend professionally in Cuba himself. Get those nerves to calm down. As you can see, mom's got him right now, and she's got her mouth covered. How about dad, too? His mouth covered as well. Bravo, 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 bravo. Takes this one low and it's two and two. They rave about his ability to go to right center field. How many 22 year olds do you hear come up where the first thing people talk about is the ability to go to right center like this? High drive that way. It's off the warning track and over the wall for a double. Miguel Vargas drives on Trace Thompson in his first big league at bat. Ellos son gran parte de, de la que yo estoy aquí hoy y poder disfrutar ese momento con ellos. Quería compartirlo y creo que me sentí increíble en el momento. And now he steals third. Oh, honey. Now it's time to steal home. <laughs> He's thinking about it. <laughs> Would you see the Bludgeon steal third against Cobb? Uh, no sé, solo me sentí increíble y no creí que alguien podía atraparme. <laughs> I just felt incredible and I didn't feel like anyone could stop me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so second and third, one gone for Vargas. Rocked a double to the opposite field to score the Dodgers run in his first big league at bat. That is stopped by Davis, who twirls and comes home, not in time. Muncy's in. Vargas is knocked in two in two plate appearances. Te puedes imaginar lo que estoy sintiendo, que hasta la bola he vendido aquí. Nosotros siempre hemos estado en, en todos los partidos de Miguel, desde que Miguel está en la Liga Menor, y hemos llegado hasta aquí a, a las Grandes Ligas. Ya tú ves la emoción, ya tú ves cómo lloramos, cómo, brancamos, cómo brincamos, cómo saltamos, de la alegría, porque él está logrando su sueño y porque él está logrando con todo el trabajo que hizo, y, y aquí está saliendo el resultado ahora. Tengo hasta que creo que el corazón se me va a salir para afuera. And Miguel Vargas' debut, a successful one in a couple ways. He gets the two hits, he drives in two runs, and his team wins the game. 
Oye, tu mamá reza todo el juego. La ponían en la cámara así. Tranquilo. Imagínate, esto es eh, lo máximo. Es lo más grande que, que yo puedo estar mirando ahora. El primer hit de mi hijo en, 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 en Andelía es lo más grande que yo puedo estar mirando ahora. La vamos a conservar con todo el amor de mi hijo. On the next Backstage Dodgers. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. A look at the off the field efforts of the team's Roberto Clemente Award nominee. From that moment, we were addicted to finding more ways to get involved in the community and, and trying to impact more people's lives. 